Hello all my Gemini friends, welcome to your April 1st through 15th reading for 2020. Many blessings to you all as we move through these uh, very peculiar times that we're all experiencing. I uh, hope you are all well and safe and we will uh, have a little bit of entertainment here, see what's going on for the two weeks, the first two weeks of April. This is a collective reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, which means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you after you schedule your appointment. With that being said, let's move into our reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and we welcome this reading. Thank you for this blessing of your energy. Ooh, we're going to start off with the miser, the four of pentacles. That's financial stability right off. We've got the four of swords. The Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. Very strong energy for moving through the process here. We've, and that's your core energy, the current here and now energy. Then we have the Page of Pentacles in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life. The Six of Swords moving forward out of the stormy waters into the clear. The Page of Swords giving information to assist. We have the Four of Wands, which is stability and good communication in the career and finance area. The King of Cups, genuinely uh, being heartfelt energy, very authentic energy. A lot of you are, are working for a place that really does uh, honor you and appreciate you. So we have the Ace of Swords, which is the clarifying moment of being able to decide your direction and having the freedom to do so, being being opened up to that. So we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a messenger. He's usually asking for action or bringing something, a task to you to complete. He's like the town crier, so he likes to come and tell it. Here's what, here's what's happening. So as you get the information, you'll be given the opportunity because this knight of wands is also coming in so he's really the one that's going to say come on let's do it he's letting you know it's coming so here's the four of pentacles which is beautiful energy it also matches the april energy that we're reading right now so this is being very financially solid stable and money in the bank so we like that energy okay so if you don't already have it it means it's coming to you uh, the likelihood of you being able to reach that energy is very strong. We have the Four of Swords, which is where we're coming out of this recovery moment here through the month of April. And it's time to get up and get moving again. Finally, yay, we get to get our energy back and move forward. With the Six of Wands energy, this is the battle being won. This is coming back from battle victorious, Gemini. It's a beautiful energy. It means you are given, you're, this is like celebrating the moment that the victory has been had. And the hero is returning from battle victorious. If you're looking for a job, it means that you are being seen as head and shoulders above the rest or the front runner. Um, it, and I think for all of us everywhere, <laughs> this is the moment we're all waiting to have. This moment of celebration of triumph. We have the Page of Pentacles, which is information regarding a financial commitment or just a commitment because this is career. It can be career as well, but this is, I'm sorry, I misstated it. This is relationship, love life, and spiritual life, but Divine has where it wants the cards. So um, just because I say this doesn't mean necessarily everybody isn't having the relationship uh, drive, right? So this is... Right now, everybody's talking about money. Um, so this is that moment of, thank goodness, there's money on the way. We're making the right decisions. We're heading in the right direction. Leaving the stormy waters behind, launching in the, into the clear guidance of our higher selves, letting ourselves follow our instincts, taking our experience that we have gained, and moving into the new 
and wonderful new beginnings. So right direction. And then we have the Page of Swords. This is He's kind of a little tattletale. He likes to tell you things. So you may inadvertently find some things out uh, that help you move forward. Now it can be purposefully told to you. It doesn't have to be somebody sneaking around. But usually it's uh, you hear it through word of mouth when it's him. We have the Four of pen uh, Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles up here. Let's try the Four of Wands. So you've got three Fours out here. You've got the, the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Very strong energy for April. So this is ringing very true. This is being in good communication and stability. So um, a lot of you, your jobs have held you up through this. And you are in a place of being able to telecommute. And you've been uh, really held in the good graces of your company. Um, they appreciate you. You appreciate them. Uh, not everybody's job is terrible and um, a lot of times we find ourselves actually very content with who we work for because of the way they treat us in times like these. So we have the Ace of Swords next which is the clearing. Okay so this is the sword comes out and cuts through all the fog and all the things that have been holding us back and, and the, the unknown portion of what's going on and now we're able to move forward and we have a direction. So this is being able to line yourself up and start the process of moving forward. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say, Gemini. And also the swords are Gemini energy. So you've got a lot of Gemini energy out here. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these, these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and welcome your beautiful energy here. Thank you so much, Divine. Okay, so we have the Nine of Rods, which means we're right here close to the end of a cycle. We have the Eight of Cups, the Two of Rods, and the Six of Cups. We have the Ten of Rods, another Ace of Swords, the Seven of Rods, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. With the King of Swords. This is your Gemini energy, the Archangel Michael as well. Um, this King is protective energy, very much in a place of being protected and obstacles being removed. So, here we are. This also, uh, this Archangel Michael energy also stands for specific jobs. Um, there's a lot of people drawn to these particular jobs that this card stands for. Lawyer, doctor, judge, architect, engineer, scientist, anyone who is in law enforcement, criminal justice, or is a first responder. Uh, and also um, armed services, so anybody that's in, in any kind of branch of service. So this is that service, that uh, protect and serve energy. This is also the, um, the, the Archangel for all of those. This is the patron saint as Archangel Michael for those particular jobs I just mentioned as far as the law enforcement and service members so, and first responders. This is the energy of being standing your ground all the way to the end. Sometimes uh, we're asked to push past what's comfortable and we don't know we just have to keep going until we get to that last one and we never know when the last one is right so you, you're, you've gone to all of these and you're in this last one you're like is there another one after I put this in the ground is there going to be another one I just don't even know if I can deal if there's another one right <laughs> so it's saying continue to move forward do what you have to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes that's just the answer to that Anybody who's, who's had to manifest can tell you that's the truth as well. 
And if you've had, if you've been in the place of manifesting, you just, there's no time limit. You just have to do whatever it takes. And as soon as we surrender to that, it seems like it happens faster. Um, just when we surrender our will that no matter what it takes, I'm doing it. I'm going for it all the way. And then suddenly the breakthrough happens. And that's what this means is the breakthrough is just around the corner. So don't quit five minutes before your miracle. Keep pushing. The Four of Swords is recovering from this low energy we're having. Uh, this card is coming out a lot because of what's happening with the, the sickness. And then we have the Eight of Cups means we're about to be through with all of this and be able to move forward. Looking up at the moon, uh, which is looking at spirit and saying, I am ready to move on and spirit's listening. It's, it's ready to help. So this is the cycle completing and you're able to move forward. Then we have the time to move, the time to take action. This is a lot of the new beginning happening here. We have the two of rods where it's choosing to move ahead, taking the world in his hand. This little guy is moving forward. Sun is rising, new dawn, new day. So we will get there eventually. We're not quite there yet, but it's telling you it's on the way. And this is up to mid-April. And then we have the six of rods, which is the, the feeling of, of just the celebration of we have come back from, we have battled this and we have won, we have conquered it. We have the Six of Cups here as well, which is all of us together. This is soul family energy. These are soul connections. And I think spiritually, we have become stronger as a people, as a nation, as a citizen of the world. The entire world was involved in this and is involved in this. So all of us uh, are connected in a way that we weren't before. Now, we have the financial offer being made. Somebody is making a financial commitment, and you are ready to go. This is the ten of, blooming ten of rods. So this is the, the moment you were pushing for. There's the nine, and here's the ten. So for sure, it's coming. That moment is showing up and moving in the right direction and having direction. Being able, you know, you can be sailing in a circle and not know it unless you have some kind of navigation going on. If you have a destination, if you have no destination and you're unmoored and you're just going along, you have no idea what's happening. So this is being divinely guided and given that tool to allow yourself to see the direction from the divine universe. That's what the ACE is for. And this is where we have to be careful and not let people kibitz in our ear and get us worked up over something. So it's saying anybody who's trying to dis be discouraging uh, toward what was moving forward, you just stand your ground against that. You're, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing and things are moving for you because you believe in the possibilities and, and you have actually manifest that. So don't worry about other people's dilemma. And even in our own minds, you know, you're a Gemini, so there's these two things that are, you constantly can look at things from, from two sets of perspectives. And this may be that moment of where you have to just block and say, I'm, I'm, I'm standing in this energy, even though I don't see it yet, I know this is happening or I know that I've done the right thing. Okay. So we have the four of wands, which is strong, stable energy. It means being in a place of good communication. We have the Eight of Pentacles, which is being in a place of learning and benefiting from that experience to where it actually brings more money into you or makes you more valuable. This King of Cups is either the company you work for now or the company you're about to go to work for if you're unemployed at this moment. Maybe go back to work for and you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is a lifetime of money or the ability to earn a lifetime's worth of money uh, and be in a good place. The Ten of Pentacles is the highest money card in tarot, besides the Ace. Then we have the Ace of Swords, which is the direction, and it's saying to get a good view of the whole perspective of everything, the future, uh, look at how, you know, what's the best move to make for the long term. So, Gemini, this is a fabulous reading. 
Thank you all for being part of this blessed reading. Thank you for subscribing. Please do so. I'm trying to reach my 100,000. I'm almost there. Um, if you haven't subscribed, share, 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 share. Give all of this beautiful energy to every Gemini you know. And I thank you so much for being part of this positivity that we're going through this challenge right now. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the wonderful support you guys give me. This helps me as well. Many blessings. I'll see you in the middle of April. Namaste.